Hi guys, Denise here. Um, I was not planning on uploading another video today. I'm, I just did a video um, uh, that I titled um, "Strange Things That Are Happening" um, because there are, there's a lot of strange things happening right now, you know, and I'm experiencing them. And I know there's just a lot of vicious attacks on the body of Christ right now. And think, you know, the closer we get to going home, the more the enemy we should expect him to be attacking us, you know, and, the, and, but the more we stand firm on our faith and are unmovable. Okay. The more, the more he attacks us, you know, you think he would learn by now, the stronger we get because we always make it to the other side of the storm. Now in this video, on the last video, I mentioned about my son saving for his future, you know, and I just thought, you know, I want to clarify, you know, do I really believe that he has a future this side of the rapture to save his money up for? No, I do not. I do not believe that. Um, there's just not that, mu that much time left. You know, we are very close. We're, we're so close. I don't know when, but, but just things are just lining up. You know, Jesus said that, um, at the end, you know, it, it he, he referred it to, he referenced it to the, t the days of Noah and the days of Lot, you know, he said it would be kind of like that. You know, and he said that for a reason, um, you know, men would be buying, they'd be buying and selling, marrying and giving in marriage, you know, um, business as usual, you know, even though we're in perilous times right now, as Paul spoke of, and we are in perilous times, you know, I mean, there's just no hope in this world at all, you know, that the elites, you know, these, these world leaders, you know, this is global. You know, I, I mean, I will be 56 years old next month and never, this is not the same world I grew up in. Okay. Not the same world that, that I grew up in at all. And since, you know, ever since everything kind of started four years ago, you know, I knew there was a shift. I knew there was definitely something had just happened here. I knew that this was not for only 14 days to stop the spread. I knew it wasn't going to be stop at 14 days, you know, and then, then, th then these things came out. I'm like, no, you know, I knew whatever's in that, you know, could not be good. All right. And, and there's just been, you know, so much, so much bad things out of that whole thing, you know, and, and just a lot of, um, uh, you know, if you've done your research, you know, just, I, I gotta be careful what I say, but nothing good about it. Okay, guys. So, um, so there was a shift, there was a change and how, how, how do I know these things? Because I'm not one of the frogs in the pot. Okay. I'm outside of the pot and I can see that the pot is steaming. Okay. But unfortunately most people are in that pot. All right. And just as scripture reads, you know, um, most people are going to perish. All right. Wide and broad, you know, are the gates of hell for the many that choose that way, guys. Um, you know, it's a narrow path and, and there's only few that, you know, that make it in. And so while we're here, though, we're to be a light, we're to um, occupy. Okay. We are to occupy. That's and just go on with our lives and keep looking up, you know, especially when we see these things begin to happen. Look up, Jesus said, and know that your redemption draws nigh. Okay, he's coming to get us really soon. I mean, he's a God that keeps his promises. And that rainbow belongs to God. Okay, when people start accepting things that God says is an abomination things that he had flooded the that he flooded the world for and even regretted that he created mankind in the first place you know that's how much he hates that certain things and then they still is rainbow and all that it's like the enemy mocking him you know and and why do people do that well because they refuse the love of the truth okay that, that's what sin does it blinds people and it darkens their hearts all right and so want to stay away from, from things like that, you know, witchcraft, you know, type of things, you know, tarot card readers, you know, things like that, you know, the Bible warns against all that things, you know, um, 
and accepting certain um, groups and, and agendas and saying it's okay to kill, you know, millions of babies, you know, in the womb, you know, that they're just a piece of tissue. It's nothing, you know, those are lies. Those are all lies. And so God has a cup, you know, he has a cup up in heaven. And when that cup overflows with sin, you know, that's when his wrath is going to hit. And that cup is about ready to overflow. How do I know this? Because back in 2009, on November 11th, the next day after November 10th, when Grace appeared on November 10th, that, that evening, well, the very next day on November 11th, I'm driving home from, I lived at the uh, Washington coast at the time. So I'm driving home from, coming from Vancouver, Washington, where I grew up and and I'm going over, I, I take the, I took the Oregon side and I'm coming over the Astoria Bridge and that's when I started breaking down, missing my mom so much. And then I looked over the bay to my right, I just lifted up my head and looked, it was a bright sunny day and I looked over the bay and I saw this beautiful, gorgeous, double, brilliant colored rainbow. It was the first time I'd ever seen a double rainbow and it, and it was huge. It was going over the land. It was it was in the water, but it was going over the land. My sister Shannon had seen the other half. She told me later, um, she saw the other half, of, you know, at that time that she had seen the other half of that rainbow. She saw it too, um, all the way in South Bend, okay, Raymond, Washington, where she was at the time. God was telling me, you know, don't worry, daughter, what, what happened last night, that verse, what you said to your mom, and then that verse you read to your mom, you will meet her in the clouds. Okay. So, so I, I know, <laughs> I know, you know, and I, like I mentioned, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I, I know it's soon and just with everything lining up. And then we got this eclipse, you know, coming up in April, April 8th. Okay. Going through all marking an X on the United States, which is not in Bible prophecy. United States is nowhere found in Bible prophecy. So what happens to the United States? I don't know, but there's like eight Ninevehs there, seven or eight Ninevehs going on that final line that's going to mark the X. And then there's places called Jonah, the Ark, you know, and other biblical names. And I'm going to leave a video in my description box here um, where it's explained out very well and just mapped out where you can see where the X is and, um, and all these places, you know, do I think this is just a coincidence? No, I do not think this is just a coincidence. I think we're at the end, like Jesus said, and gave us all the signs that would be here at the end, you know, and, um, we're here, the wars, the rumors of wars, you know, the new world NWO, you know, just, strange things happening, you know, in the sky, you know, those balloon things were, were spotted not too long ago was that was in the news, but that's come and gone. There's just so much news. No one can keep up they, because, you know, Satan's the author of confusion. So keeping everybody confused, looking here and there, don't look there, don't look over here, you know, just a lot of strange things are happening everywhere. So no, I do not believe my son has a future here, this side of the rapture, but while we are here, we are going to be lights in the world. We are going to occupy and be about our father's business. Um, that's what he told us to do. And he told us to look up, you know, when you begin to see these things happening because your redemption draws nigh. That means he's coming to get us soon because once the restrainer is removed, okay, the Holy Spirit filled body of Christ, you know, the true church, not the buildings, they'll still be here, guys. They're still going to be here when, when we're removed. Um, that's when all hell's going to break loose and the enemy knows that he has but a short time. Okay. That's why he's got his children who are about their father's business, setting everything up. And of course they are going to be the world leaders guys, you know, and these guys, these leaders, you know, in the scripture, they're wicked. Okay. They, they're, they're planning evil things, you know, for the world, you know, good for them, but, but not good for, for the rest of us guys. And, and, and so, um, if you're not born again, you know, now's the time, um, you might want to change your mind about who God is. He is real. He is alive and he is coming back again. You know, um, 
faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God, you know, you want to stay in the word, you want to hear, um, you know, about the word and, and watch videos like this and share them with others because time's running out. And if you're left behind, you know, you could be a tribulation saint, you know, but, but the scripture says that they will be beheaded for their faith at that time because that's just, that's, that's what's written guys. And then if I just, um, I was watching a video, I'll try to find it about, um, exactly, um, seven months from April 8th, this eclipse thing is, is going to be November 11th. That was the day I saw the double rainbow the night, the day after the night when grace appeared. And that is when Philip Barnett, um, he doesn't say he didn't never said the year. Okay. Um, I was hoping it was last year, but um, I'll try to find his video too. November 11th is when the nukes are going to hit, you know, like seven months later, guys. And God works in sevens, you know, in seven days, seven months, seven years, you know, seven year tribulation. So I found that interesting that that is exactly seven months after April 8th, that eclipse that marks X on the United States is Philip Barnett's vision that he had of November 11th. Okay, when the nukes are going to start flying. And so I'll try to find that video too. I've left it in, in past um, videos, you know, in my description box, but I'll, I'll do that again here. I'm in Minnesota right now. It's the next, Fargo's right next door. You know, North Dakota's right next door to Moorhead, Minnesota. So I'm running some errands here today. So when I get home, I'll find those videos on my laptop and, and I'll put them in the description box below. So stay prayed up guys you know Jesus is coming soon you know and and this is our blessed hope you know looking and watching for the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ you know who was and is and is to come so God bless everyone and take care until next time